in Montreal for a, such a progressive and gay-friendly city, that's such a big event that you kind of have to have. Come August, Montreal's René Lévesque Boulevard is set to host the city's Pride Parade. Last year, just five hours before it was set to start, it was cancelled. A report into what happened showed miscommunication issues, including security staff that had not been hired. The city's Pride organization, Fierté Montréal, says it will happen this year. We learned a lot from that. It was extremely unfortunate. It was really, really difficult for everyone. Everyone, everybody wanted to go, and also for us as an organization. So we've really we've revised how we do things in terms of we we rebuild the production and operations department. Uh, we have more solid, uh, uh, more solid infrastructure, uh, more solid communications uh, ways we are working together. A report in October 2022 found that the morning of the parade, staff realized someone had forgotten to hire some 96 security staff. The cancellation was announced without the approval of those in charge. I was there and people were lined up against the barricades and stuff like that. But then we got like word on, um, I think I found it on Twitter actually, they've been cancelled. I'm actually a drag queen. And I didn't even got the memo. Simon Fortin, known as CC Superstar in the drag world, dedicated hours to a parade look. Put money on the outfit and then cut. You could just tell the disappointment in people's faces. Standing out there in the hot, blazing sun for as long as we were, it was just, it was just a huge bummer. I think we're all paying a lot more attention to it this year, and there, but there, that also means that there's a lot more investment in it happening and there's a lot more excitement in it happening because for a lot of people this might be the first time in two or three or four years even that the they get to experience Mont the Montreal to us LGBTQI community. The festival will run August 3rd to 13th, and Pride Montreal is currently recruiting staff. Last year it was a problem, so this year even more than ever. So we, yes, they will. We'll will we'll, we'll assign the right people at the right moment. There's still going to be a little bit of nervousness of don't screw this up again for whatever reason. But yeah, absolutely, I'm excited to see it happen. It's such a huge fanfare. In Montreal, Alicia Rubertucci, City News.